What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stocko YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock and this is going to be one of the best videos that this channel has ever posted to date. We've been covering the SoFi stock for over four months and I'm telling you right now, we are in the ninth inning of the loading phase on the SoFi stock. Now that that earnings report has been pushed out to the public, and I'm going to continue to say the same thing. That earnings was an absolute blowout. We smashed Robinhood. We smashed Square. And we smashed PayPal. 10 out of 10 on the earnings report. The big money hedge funds and the whales know that. And we are at the ninth inning of the accumulation phase. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of the biggest stock winners inside of 2022. Once that bank charter approval finally completes, this stock is going to run like you've never seen before. There will be nothing to stop the SoFi stock as far as negative catalysts. Our student loans are going to be coming back in full force. Be sure to low before the bank charter goes through. I think it's going to go through in 2021. And all I ask for you to do is three things. Be sure to smash this like button. Let's try and get this video past 1,500 likes. Drop a comment. Are you buying SoFi stock? What is your price target? And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I got some great information for you today. Let's get into the video. I made a specific video yesterday right here. Crazy manipulation, no upgrades. Guys, I said specifically there was no way the SoFi stock was going to close over 25 today. The contracts were out of this world. And that's exactly what the big money hedge funds did. They manipulated this stock. And while other companies were rallying today, SoFi stock had another bleed out and the options expired worthless on the 24s and 25s for the weeklies. And that's just the game. If options get crazy, they're going to take advantage. You can see today SoFi finished down 0.9%. We finished at 2283 with the aftermarket close a little bit in the green anybody new to the channel i'm very bullish on the sofi stock i have a five-year mindset on the company i'm not short term at all but i believe there is some major gains to be made in the next 12 months guys i really think the stock is going to go over 55 dollars next year and my price target with the bank charter when it happens is 30 dollars 235 uh, is my price target. So massive upside when that bank charter goes through and there's really going to be nothing stopping this company in 2022 when the student loans come back. If we take a look at market B right now, we could see that two of these six analysts have upgraded their price targets. Take a look. Jeffrey's right here upgraded 24 to 26. I believe that was on the low end in my personal opinion. Oppenheimer upgraded 23 to 28. This is a very solid price target upgrade. I'm very surprised, you know, Oppenheimer didn't come in over 30 because I thought we were going to get some $30 price targets because we already have a 30 at the bottom with Rosenblatt and we already have a 28 with Mizuo. So two of the six analysts have upgraded their price targets and we have massive upside guys as you can see without a bank charter approval 37 54 percent uh 44 percent so massive upside potential right here without a bank charter two analysts have upgraded i keep talking about this accumulation phase and i'm telling you right now Anytime an IPO or a SPAC stock comes to the market, if it's a top tier company, it's going to go through this six month accumulation phase. And that is where big money just manipulates the heck out of it and buys back cheap shares anytime there's a sell off. Three companies that rallied today that were some of the biggest IPOs, you know, last year. We have Roblox, 9% gain. We have DoorDash, 8% gain. And we have Airbnb, a 7% gain. Why are all three of these companies rallying at the exact same time? Take a look at these charts and you're going to know exactly what I mean about high quality accumulation over a six month period. Roblox goes to market, sells off, accumulation phase, boom, rally. Airbnb goes to market, sells off, accumulation phase, boom, rally. These three stocks went to the market at the exact same time. They went through their accumulation phase. They are high quality and they are running hard now at the exact same time. This is exactly where SoFi is and their chart and their time frame on the market. And we are in the ninth inning of the accumulation phase. The earnings reports have been reported. The earnings reports are 10 out of 10. And now I'm going to show you the massive accumulation that is happening before this bank charter approval that is going to lead to SoFi being one of the biggest winners inside of 2022 time frame. This is the institutional ownership. We have data to prove that the ownership has jumped from five all the way to 42%. When there's a new updated filing, most likely the ownership could jump to 50 to 60%. The big whales are going to own this stock forever. Majority of these filings do come in about two to three weeks late. We can see Credit Suisse 
who has a price target initiated on SoFi at $16.50 for some reason. I have no idea why. They were accumulating in the $17 range. So if they want to make some money, they better upgrade their price targets to where all of the other five analysts are at. About 1.7 million shares. This is a big buy that they put in and they are bullish on the company. We also have the G Capital Management, 5 million shares at 17. We have also Bank of Montreal, 368,000 shares. We'll keep going. Uh, Virtue Financial, 419,000 shares. These are some big buys that came in to end the week. Macquarie Group, 1.5 million shares. We're going to keep moving, keep moving. Vanguard Group, 47 million shares. They are now the largest holders of the SoFi stock, guys. This is extremely bullish long-term, short-term. It does not matter. They loaded the boat. This is close to like a billion dollars or something like that, guys. So massive accumulation has been going on for Vanguard. First Republic, 395,000. Bank of New York, 1.1 million. Uh, we'll keep going. Franklin Resource, 3.6 million. I mean, this, this is just all coming in today. This is accumulation from the past three weeks. Soros Fund, 177,000. Marathon, 100,000. Pathway Capital, 600,000. Highbridge, 400,000. Wolverine Asset, 291,000. Ah, this is still the 12th, guys. This is absolutely insane. And that's why we've rallied, you know, 50 to 60% since when I've been recommending this stock around $14, $15. And we also have Oppenheimer right here, $17 average, 119,000 shares. And Oppenheimer is one of the, you know, analysts covering the stock. They just upgraded to 28. It does not get more bullish than this. And then we have another big whale coming in. Group one, 900,000. Peak six, a million shares. JP Morgan Chase, 719,000 shares. This is a direct competitor in the banking industry. They want a piece of the pie because they know this is the number one fintech on the market right now for growth, valuation, disruption. They made this stock a massive, massive float, massive outstanding shares, you know, of 800 million shares. So this could be a long-term hold. Understand you see all these companies and you hear these uh, retail traders, small float, small float. There's a reason why those stocks have such tiny floats and people just dump them because they can move the stock. You cannot do that with SoFi. This is a massive float. It's for massive accumulation for long-term investors because they are confident in the company long-term, guys. Take a look at this video from Anthony Noto, the CEO of SoFi, and take a look at the title. Our student loan business got cut in more than half after federal payment pause. And he's going to go over that right here. I'm telling you, when our student loans come back, this stock is going to moon inside of 2022. There's going to be massive guidance raise. SoFi shares are rocking in the pre-market as the fintech posted better than expected sales and earnings for the third quarter. The company also signaled an acceleration in sales growth for the fourth quarter as it continues to expand its product suite. SoFi CEO. Anthony Noto is here with us now. Anthony, always nice to see you here. So Coinbase, uh, they had a bad quarter, stock gets whooped. Uh, Robinhood, bad quarter, stock gets hit. Your stock is up significantly here in the pre-market. Also PayPal and Square. We destroyed everybody on earnings. You are in the crypto space. How are you able to get it done in the quarter? Diversification. Yeah, our record revenue results really reflect the diversity of our business. We built our business focused on the mission of helping people get their money right so they can get to the point that they have enough money to do what they want, which we call financial independence. Um, and in order to do that, we have to be there for every one of their major major decisions of their financial lives and all the days in between. So we're a one-stop shop for financial services products all on your mobile phone. And because we have that breadth of products to serve our members, we have businesses that benefit in low interest rate environments and high end rising environments, which are there you go, guys. You heard it from the CEO. Do not be worried about inflation, low interest rates, high interest rates. It does not matter. SoFi has dozens of products, one-stop shop. They will thrive in any environment. That is why we are smashing earnings right now, why a lot of companies, fintechs, are missing out and blowing their earnings. We are killing it in high inflation. Imagine when inflation goes down. We'll still kill it. It does not matter. Any environment, it does not matter. You heard it from the CEO. We're currently in. We had businesses that benefited in the stay at home 
uh, sector, secular shift, as well as the reopening trade. And that diversification is allowing us to really focus on those areas that are in greater demand, as opposed to companies that may be only in crypto or only in brokerage or only in lending or benefited disproportionately from stay at home and, or, and now are getting hurt by that. So our record revenue the quarter really reflects a benefit of our strategy playing out into three diverse businesses and the successful execution by our team. It's been a, a year long sprint that we've achieved a number of really key milestones uh, to get to this point where we have all these products on our platform, everything from four different types of loans, the ability to buy stocks, fractional shares without commissions, buy ETFs. We have six of our own ETFs that are customized based on our members' interests. We also have robo accounts. And uh, one of our robo accounts was just recognized by Barron's as being uh, the number one in its class. And we also have cryptocurrency. We also have a SoFi credit card. And then SoFi money, which is like a checking or savings account where you can do your direct deposit, pay your bills or pay your friends. And we also have insurance all on your mobile phone. No need to go to a branch or talk to anyone. I did a double take, Anthony, uh, listening to the earnings call last night. You have 28 cryptos on your platform. I remember when you just started at the company. That is a big number. How All right, guys, you can continue to watch the video, but I just want you guys to hear SoFi will dominate uh, regardless of the interest rates. OK, it does not matter. They have such a wide variety of products, and that's the reason why they are killing their earnings and all these other companies aren't because Robinhood is focused on trading. Square is focused on crypto. We have everything you need, guys. We are well diversified in the earnings report show. We are at the top right now. Square, PayPal, Robinhood, none of them are even close to where we're at right now as far as you know growth potential and on track to succeed because we have guidance massive boost coming in 2022 with our uh, student loans coming back and also a bank charter approval allowing us to just dominate you know not having to go through these third parties anymore so massive potential i'm looking for you know a triple inside of 2022 i think this is going to be the one of the biggest winners uh, by far and also morgan stanley does have a price target that they have not you know really brought to the public yet and initiated but their price target with the bank charter is 34 dollars for anybody that is new to the channel massive upside expect more upgrades to come you know even without a bank charter we should definitely see 30 dollars potentially and with the bank charter this stock could break 35. and if you made it to the end of the video i want to say i really do appreciate it i enjoyed doing this video for you so far has massive potential you can see the accumulation happening guys the big whales are loading we are in the ninth inning once again my name is kyle hope you have a great day